Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us for our program today. This evening, we will be viewing Bad Fan Fiction Theater, a sophisticated... Orgy sandwiches, the best in town. They come into two flavors, blueberry and strawberry, and sometimes cream. Best enjoyed with your shoes off. Relaxing with... Nice cold lemonade, if you know what we mean by lemonade. <laughs> Milk fresh daily. From lesbian cattle. We only use the freshest meat in our orgy sandwiches. Gucci Joe's probably going to kill me for that joke. Well, at least you haven't used it as a metaphor for your genitals. That's exactly what I just did. Oh, well, in that case, uh... Hmm, I don't have any defense. Neither do I. Intelligent. I fear that Ariakis is behind the attack and he sent that evil creature to carry out his revenge. What? For killing us two dracon. What the? What? Oh, what did it? What? What did? What did? I, uh, what did Ariakis say? Go kill a baby. And like, <laughs> how does the uh, bat creature know that there's a baby inside the woman? She could just look fat to him. Oh. See, no, he's a mindless creature. And classy. I want to see all you big fat ass bitches in the motherfucking club. Fuck you if you skinny bitches want to. Program that analyzes only the most tasteful. Which I kind of find challenging anyway because I don't remember the uh, pagan monastery where you really? drink other people's pee in Ocarina of Time. But hey, that's just me. I haven't played it in years. So. It's clearly only Ocarina of Time plus bullshit she makes up as she goes <laughs> Ocarina plus. <laughs> the Ocarina of bullshit. <laughs> Doesn't sound Still as good as a normal ocarina. The most riveting. I felt as if our bodies merged. We became as one. Even more so when we both came to a full climax. I screamed out his name as I felt him release his essence deep inside me. Then I put my lips to his long sexy point <laughs> Before sweetly <laughs> and nibbling on it, I heard what? him moaning softly as I caressed his ear with my lips and his body with my hands. I was so glad to finally be in his arms again to be able to feel him. I can't look at his crap! And the most refined. I have never really come into contact with white foundation. Like, there are different shades of pale foundation. Yeah. But if you're talking white foundation, you're talking clown white. Or like mime white. When you put on foundation, it's supposed to have something to do with your own complexion. So, like, if you have, like I do, I have naturally rosy cheeks. But I have a very pale complexion. So I try and match my complexion with the foundation that I have <laughs> so that my cheeks don't look particularly rosy. Yeah. And if it doesn't suit your complexion, you will get a distinct line that looks extremely tacky. So what you really want to do if you want to look pale is apply a foundation that suits you and then use powder and other things on top of that in order to make your skin naturally look pale. Because otherwise you will look like a mime or you will look like a clown. You will look like the frightening diner clown. Literature, no in demand. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Bad Van Fiction Theater. Please, enjoy the show. My show was just this. There's a stage with a curtain drawn, and then there's just a pile of shit <laughs> with, with a microphone pointed yeah. at it.